Hey moms, welcome back to my channel. I hope that this video found you guys happy and well. So today I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about how and why we decided to combine curriculums and why we decided to combine video-led and parent-led subjects. So I sat back and I was really thinking about a video that would be helpful to some of you guys. And one of the things that I remember thinking through the beginning of this journey is your decisions on curriculum. Now, our decision on curriculum came from when my daughter was in kindergarten, she went to a private school and they were using a Becca. So when I decided to homeschool, I was told by her teacher that a Becca actually offers it for homeschool. So I started researching and I just decided that that was gonna be the best curriculum for us. I loved a Becca. She was using it at the private school, like I said, and she was really excelling in it and she was learning a lot. And I just, I loved how it was biblically sound and Christian and she was just learning a whole lot. So I didn't really wanna to change too much about it. Also, I knew that it had a video-led approach. So I knew that I could purchase, or not purchase, I could rent DVDs, and a teacher could actually teach her for me because I was real, I was nervous. So that sounded really appealing to me. And I knew that I would have to teach her, or at some extent, you know, more like a, what are they called? A teacher's aide. So I kind of thought of myself as like a teacher's aide, a principal, and a teacher's assistant or something, you know? So um, that was probably the best decision that I had made for us for homeschooling for our first year. It really helped me see how homeschooling was going to look. Now, it also helped me in deciding what I didn't want it to look like. You know, the more research I was doing, I was seeing how other people were homeschooling, what they were using, things like that. So I got a lot of ideas from watching other homeschoolers. And so from that point, after first grade, I was researching for second grade and I was still really nervous about making a huge change. So I again purchased the video led with Abeka for her second grade year. I did notice that with second grade, I started to pull in a lot more of our own things and change things up. So instead of having her watch reading, I did reading with her. I felt like her reading with the class was kind of holding her back a little bit. So I'm like, I could just read with her. I had the teacher book that I could ask the questions. And um, so that helped a lot. So we did that together. I did spelling with her. Um, off and on. I would sit and do Bible with her, but just listening with the teacher. You know, I would do things like that. I would sit with her with history. I even did some history lessons with her instead of her doing it with the book and with the teacher. The only problem I found with that is it only came with the video guide, so it didn't have a breakdown of what you needed to teach. So when I was doing history with her, we were just basically reading from the book. There was no like added supplemental type of things to it. So I've always felt like I was missing something in that extent. So from that point, I decided that I wanted to start changing things for us in homeschool. So I also noticed with math that she really didn't want to do her math anymore. She complained that the video was too long, it was boring, they were going over things she already knew. So I knew that I had to make some changes to make our homeschool life a little more enjoyable. So I really sat back and thought what I wanted our homeschool to look like. And what I came up with is I wanted to teach her. I wanted to be the main teacher in our homeschool. I wanted more time with her. I wanted our homeschool to be our homeschool, something that worked for us and not something that we were told, like you had to have this done, you had to send this in. Now, remember, this is just my thoughts in homeschooling and for our homeschool. If you love video led and you are a full video led, a Becca curriculum homeschool, nothing is wrong with that at all. This is just something that I wanted to talk to you guys about just in case you guys had it on your heart to change things around or if school is overwhelming for you. 
it could possibly be the reason why it's overwhelming is either they're not happy or you're not happy or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys could be making each other not happy just because of the stress from the curriculum itself. So I really sat back and thought about those things. I also saw, sat back and thought, what was realistic to me, for me, for Tally, and for Isaiah? What made sense in our home? What made sense for my kids? What did I think that I was capable of teaching? So what it came down to was I knew I could not teach math or I didn't want to attempt to, take, to teach math. So I knew I needed to find her something that had a video type led teacher. I also knew that I did not really want to teach language, language, writing, I'm okay with reading, I'm okay with spelling, but like the actual writing part of it and understanding language and you know terminology and things like that, I just wanted her to have a better foundation and I knew that I couldn't give it to her. So another thing I thought about was right now I am teaching Isaiah more of a child-led approach. So he's just coming to me and wanting to do things on his own and I work with him. And I knew that within the next couple years, I would be teaching him full time. So not only will I have one child to be taught, but I'll have two. And I know some of you guys are moms to, you know, four, five kids. So just keep in mind what you're actually capable of, okay? Don't drive yourself crazy. Don't think that you can't do it all. Don't think that you can do it all. You know, you need to find what's right for you and for your family. So for me, I knew that for myself, for my sanity and for the kids, because I knew if I was going crazy, they'd be going crazy. I knew that I could only teach Tally half her subjects, parent led because eventually, like I said, I'll be teaching Isaiah. So I'd need half for her and the other half for him. So I sat back and I knew that I wanted to teach her Bible. That was something that I, I want more time with the Lord and I knew that teaching her would also help me learn. So I knew that, and not only that, but it's a great bonding thing for us. It's something, I mean, learning about God together is just something that's unspeakable, right? Like that's, that's awesome. So I knew that that was something I wanted to do with her and I really enjoy history and I enjoy science. Uh, sometimes the experiments, not so much, but I don't know why, but I knew that those are things that I am capable of doing with her. So that is what I decided to do. So what we do for Bible is she is parent led by me. I teach her. And then we use the Abeka curriculum, so it's given the lessons to you. So you literally read what they tell you to read, you ask the questions. I mean, it literally tells you everything you need to do. And then what I noticed after we had started doing the parent-led is that they do have a lot of review days. So I've pulled in my own supplemental books and we go over the same subject that we're talking about, or, or book, not subject, the same book we're talking about and we'll just learn a little bit more through the books that I've purchased on the side. And then I have her draw a picture. Um, I have some really cool things that I'm coming up with for next year for her fourth grade year. And I will show you guys because I'm hoping that I can put it on a website somewhere or Pinterest or something for you guys to use um, if you would like to. So anyways, that's what we're doing for Bible. And then she has language arts, and that is video led through Rebecca. Now I have her sit and learn the video led with language and writing. But when it is reading, we do it together. I'm given a book, I ask her the questions when she's reading, I tell, I like introduce the story to her, we talk about it. I just make sure that she's comprehending everything that she's actually reading, basically with that. And then, for spelling, the only time I really have her watch the video teacher is when she has a new list. So after they take their, so let's see, so they'll take a trial test and if they get 100%, they don't have to take a test, but then if they don't get 100%, the next day they have to take the actual test. 
Now, after the actual test, the following day is when they get their new list of words. So I usually, I do all the time, not usually. She always has to watch that next video with her new list of words because they talk about the words, they go over the words. So I always have her do that with the video led teacher. But then through the week, me and her work on spelling together for the most part. Sometimes she will do that with the video. Just, it, it really depends on what my day is looking like if I'm being pulled with Isaiah or if I have to do something, then she'll, she'll work through the video. But for the most part, I do that with her. The next thing she does is her math and we decided to go with teaching textbooks. We love it, she loves it. There are some changes that I will be making with teaching textbooks and we are super excited about it and we're loving it. So that was probably the best decision for us to make is leaving a Becca's curriculum and it's not because of the curriculum itself because it was beautiful and I mean, I can't say any bad things about Abeka. I really, really do love Abeka. Um, but it just wasn't working for her anymore. So the way that teaching textbooks is laid out, their lectures like 10 minutes long, and then she has her questions. If she doesn't answer it, I refer back to her, um, her lecture and we go over it together. And that, I mean, that has been working out so well. So that's what we're doing. So she is video led through that. And then science, we're using Apologia right now and we're loving it. We're almost done with it. We worked through astronomy. My daughter loves space and anything having to do with planets. And um, so we're just finishing up with that. And what I am doing after we're done with that is we'll just be doing a lot of like fun activities, lap booking, stuff like that. So I will be adding stuff into that, making it our own, just like I mentioned previously. You know, I'm trying to make our curriculum into our own. That makes sense for us. So with history, we are using Star Spangled Story. It's through Knotgrass. We love them. Um, I have some videos that you guys can check out my playlist or I'll try to link them down below if I remember for you guys, but I have a whole bunch of curriculum style flip throughs and everything if you guys are interested in seeing these different curriculums. So this one's through Knotgrass, Star Spangled Story, and we use them as our base. So we literally use their book as our main learning base. And then what I do is I pull in different unit studies. So basically the next lesson we are gonna be learning is the Gold Rush. So what I've done is it's only one lesson long. So after we read the Gold Rush lesson, we are gonna move into a Gold Rush unit study. I found a free one online and um, I found a book on it that we will read through. And then what we'll do is we'll do some sort of activity that goes along with it. So that's basically what I have been doing with history and it has been working out beautifully for us. Like it's always different. The kids are engaged and they're enjoying it. And then the last thing I want to say that we are working through right now is geography and geography. Again, we're using not grass and we're using our 50 states and we're loving it. Again, we're using it as our base learning curriculum. And then I've also incorporated which way USA. That one has been super fun and it's like learning without really realizing you're learning or like critical thinking without really realizing you're doing critical thinking as a kid. Like they're just having fun working through the booklet. And then I found like this little map that we put flags on once she gets through a state. So that's basically what we're doing for geography. Oh, also I have a mapping book that we do with that. And it's something that I got from Amazon. It just shows her how to map like real maps. Um, and then we're doing landforms and I've just been pulling, pulling a whole bunch of just things from everywhere for our landforms. And that's basically it. So you guys, I literally have made our homeschool into our own, into what will work best for us. And I feel like our days are going so much better since I've done that. The change in our homeschool has just been wonderful for us. It was the right decision. I would say just pray on it and follow what's pulling you in your heart. You know, if you're feeling discouraged or your curriculum's not working for you, try something else. You know, just keep in mind what you're capable of, what you can teach, what you feel comfortable teaching. 
what you have time to teach, how many kids you have. Um, one thing that I really, really thought about is, you know, my son's gonna be starting school and I knew that I was going to have to split my time between the two kids. So realistically, I can have Tally working through her language and her math subjects. And even if, you know, I didn't have time to do spelling with her anymore, she could do spelling with her video led teacher. And then during that time, I could be working with Isaiah. And I think that that is where things can get really tricky when you're working with two different kids or four different kids or five different kids. So just kind of try to think that through as well. You'll be doing like a juggling act basically throughout your day. Um, and it can get discouraging a little bit, but you'll get through it. Just try to keep in your mind that, you know, especially if you have youngsters and they don't know when you tell them, okay, you're gonna have to wait. If they keep bothering you, just keep in your mind that, you know, they're young and everything will be okay. Um, maybe tell your older one, hold on, and then help the younger one. I've had to do that too, you know, cause she does understand more than my four year old. So I'll kind of move to him and tell her, you know, do this while I'm, I'm taking care of him or, you know, have her work on a worksheet or something like that. Or I give her a little break as I'm working with him. Just knowing how to balance that time between the kids is something that you kind of have to take into consideration as well. Another thing that I would say is try to do group subjects together as a group. So if you have kids that are pretty close in age, you know, that are a year apart, year and a half apart, probably even two years apart, you can manage doing it. Um, you know, subjects like history, science, Bible, things like that, art, um, any type of elective that you guys are doing, try to incorporate it within the family. I would love to do that. Like I am praying that that's something that I can do with my kids. My kids are almost a five year gap, so I'm not sure how well that will work for us, but I'm really praying that like I could at least do a couple like that, at least for a few couple years, but we'll see how that works out. But I know that a lot of moms use that as something that helps them throughout their homeschooling day is having those joint subjects that you guys could work on together. Just make sure that you're keeping it at their learning level. So there may be some differences, but like the major core part of it where you're reading and explaining things to them is the same, but they're kind of doing different activities or writing assignments and things like that. So I would say definitely take advantage of that. I know that I will definitely be trying to do that. While my sister was doing school here with us, that's what we were doing with the girls. We were trying to do the history and the science together with um, Ari and Tally, so our second grader and third grader. Now our seventh grader, she really wasn't doing anything like that with us. The only thing she has been doing with us is when we were doing the cooking unit, she did that with us and we work through our American Girl books and she's been doing that with us only to have fun with us, just to be able to be included because sometimes I feel like she's excluded from school, you know? So we try to include her in stuff like that and that has been working out. So I think if you're thinking about changing up your curriculum, I think just sit back and really think about those main points and you know, spreading your time, what you're capable of, how you want your homeschool to look, what works best for you? Are you a planner? Is it easier for you to already have things planned out? Like all of those things take into consideration because what I do with adding in a lot, it does take up a lot of my time. Um, that's basically what I do in my free time. So I enjoy it, so it's okay. But just make sure that if you are trying to do something more of your own, just make sure that you are okay with doing it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys found some inspiration from this video. I hope that you guys could think about different tips that may help you guys in deciding where you guys want the direction of your homeschool to go. Now, again, remember that this is just my own opinions and thoughts on changing up your homeschool curriculums and what works and what doesn't. This is just how it is for us in my home in our homeschool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that like if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. 
I always love to hear from you guys. So that's it, you guys. I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and be blessed always. Bye, guys. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone?